Hey y'all, welcome to Williamson County Public Library. I'm Stephanie Wachowski, the Youth Services Manager at the Williamson County Public Library. I'm so glad you guys joined me for Dinosaur Stories tonight. I'm really excited to be here with you guys and share these even though I'm in my home um, right now. So um, safe distancing, social distancing, you know, all those lovely words that everyone's been using lately. So, and you may see my dog in the background on the couch enjoying stories with me tonight. Her name is Dolly May. So feel free to reach out and say, hey, you know, let me know you're here. Let me know you're signing on. So please say hello to me, um, even if I don't get a chance to respond to you right now, since I'll be reading and doing the program with you. I'd love to know that you're here and that you join me and I can respond after the live program is over. So, um, Without further ado, I wanna go ahead and get started. So the first thing I wanna to do tonight is, since we're sharing books about dinosaurs, I've kind of been feeling in a dinosaur mood all day today, but I need some help. Do you guys know anything about dinosaurs? Do you think maybe you could help me tonight? Let's see if we can do this together. We're gonna to all use our imagination for the next minute, and we're gonna close our eyes and we're gonna imagine our favorite dinosaur. I'm sure most of you out there have a favorite dinosaur. So if you can just close your eyes with me and let's imagine that favorite dinosaur. Okay, you got it pictured in your head now, right? So let's open up our eyes again. And then what we're gonna do is with that dinosaur, um, tell me a little bit about it. What color is your favorite dinosaur? Tell me in the comment box what color yours is. And speaking of colors and speaking of dinosaurs, does anybody know what sound they make? What kind of sound does a dinosaur make? Can you tell me if you know what sound they make? I know, I know what sound my dinosaur makes. My dinosaur is bright purple and my dinosaur roars. So do you think you all could roar with me like a dinosaur? Are you ready? One, two, Three, roar. Now, how do you think dinosaurs move around at night or even during the day, if they're out during the day? How do you think if they were actually living and they weren't pretend in our imaginations and in our minds or in our storybooks, how would they move? They would have pretty big feet, right? Or some of them, those ones that are flying dinosaurs would have really big wingspan and they would fly. So if you guys could take a second and in your minds and using your feet, why don't you stomp like a dinosaur would stomp? And I'm gonna do it while I'm sitting here because I'm gonna read some stories with you and so I have these stories on my lap so I can't actually stand up because you might not be able to see me on the camera if I stood up right now. So are you ready? We're gonna stomp together for a second. Stomp, stomp, stomp like that dinosaur. Stomp, stomp, stomp like that dinosaur. And how about roar again? Roar! And how about if you have a flying dinosaur? Can you use your arms like big wings and fly like a dinosaur? Great job, everybody. I'm so happy you're all here and I can't wait to share these awesome stories with you tonight. The first one that I thought I would share, it's called Dinosaur Roar, and it's by Paul and Henrietta Strickland. <clears throat> Dinosaur Roar, can you all roar again? Roar! And Dinosaur Squeak, can you make a tiny little squeak like a mouse? Squeak, squeak! Dinosaur fierce. Ooh, can you do a fierce face? And how about dinosaur meek? Oh, a scared little meek dinosaur. Look at that little tiny dinosaur. Dinosaur fast. How fast can you go? Can you move your arms really fast? And dinosaur slow. Gotta move slow and plod along. <clears throat> Dinosaur above, so can you put your arm up really high, like you're way up high in the sky? And dinosaur below, reach down to the ground. Dinosaur below. Dinosaur weak, 
And dinosaur strong. Ooh, can you show me your muscles? Oh, big muscles, big dinosaur muscles. Dinosaur, dinosaur short. Oh, so really tiny, really short. Or very, very long. Stretch those arms way out. Really long. Sorry, didn't want you to miss the picture. <laughs> dinosaur fat. Oh, so pull out your belly. Push it out as far as it'll go. And dinosaur tiny. Look at that little tiny dinosaur. Dinosaur clean. Ooh, look at that bright blue one. He's all clean. And dinosaur slimy. Ooh, look at how dirty he is. There's all that seaweed and stuff all coming off of him. All that slime. <clears throat> dinosaur sweet. Oh, can you make a sweet face? Smile. And dinosaur grumpy. Show me your grumpy face. Can you be grumpy? Dinosaur spiky. Oh, look at those big tall spikes. And dinosaur lumpy. All sorts of dinosaurs eating their lunch. Oh, can you, I forgot. Can you munch your lunch or your dinner or your snack? Like a dinosaur would. Gobble, gobble, nibble, nibble. Some are eating plants, some are eating bones. Some are eating trees. Munch, munch, scrunch, munch. Oh, look at all those fun dinosaurs. I bet some of those are some of the colors that your dinosaur is the favorite color. Just like, remember how I said mine was bright purple? I bet some of you have favorites out there like blue or red or bright green or even orange. There's lots of cool colored dinosaurs in this story. Yay! <clears throat> Before we share our other dinosaur story, can we do one of my favorite nighttime songs? I haven't sang this one for a while and I'm kind of in the mood to sing it. Even though it's not quite dark outside yet, cause it's still, um, the sun is still setting and things like that right now. But one of my favorite nighttime songs is Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. So can you guys get out a star? Can we do this with our hands like a star, like we're shining in the sky? Are you ready? Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. <gasps> Wonderful job. Thank you guys for helping me sing if you're singing at home. And so I've got one more story to share with you all tonight. It's called 10 Terrible Dinosaurs. And again, it's by my, one of my favorite authors, Paul Strickland. <clears throat> 10 terrible dinosaurs all standing in a line soon began to push and shove until there were nine. Oh, see a pattern? We went from 10 to nine. Nine enormous dinosaurs. Their dancing was just great. But one was much too spiky. So then there were, how many do you think? Eight. Eight elated dinosaurs who thought they were in heaven. Oh, look at that. They're eating a snack from that tree. See that? Almost looks like grapes or something. Maybe coconuts. I'm not sure. But so there were seven, seven silly dinosaurs playing goofy tricks. But one went too far. So then there was how many? How many made do you think? Six. Oh, you're right. Six stomping dinosaurs who danced a crazy job. But one got all tangled up, 
So then there were five, five feisty dinosaurs stamping on the floor. Oh, so can you use those feet again? Can we do some stomping? Stomping on that floor. Quiet down, cried someone's mom. And then there was four. Four fearless dinosaurs were swinging from a tree. <clears throat> but one got stuck. So then there was three. Whoops, excuse me. Three thundering dinosaurs who flapped and almost flew. Oh, can you use those wings again? Like your, like your um, dinosaur wings and you're flying. Whoops. And one took off. So then there was two. Two testy dinosaurs tired of all the fun. One got taken home. So then there was one. One weary dinosaur who soon began to snore. <gasps> he fell asleep, didn't he? Because he was so tired from all that play. His friends sneaked up behind him and suddenly yelled, <gasps> Roar! <laughs> Look at those cool dinosaur feet. Yay, we finished another story tonight. Thank you guys for joining me this evening. I loved having you here for stories with me and I look forward to you coming back soon for, to hear some more stories. <laughs>